Hey, how are you? Yeah, I saw that in your paperwork. Before we get started really quickly though, can I just get you to verify for me your name and date of birth? Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so looking at your paperwork here, we have you here today because you've been experiencing some facial numbness as well as some lymph node swelling, okay? Can you show me where on your face when you're experiencing the numb areas? Okay. And is it a complete loss of sensation? Sensation? Are you experiencing anything like pins and needles, for example? Okay. So it's not limited to just one side, right? And how about the lymph node inflammation? Where are you experiencing this? Okay. Is it constant? Does it come and go? About how often? And how long does it last? And at what point did this start? Can you pinpoint a date or just a rough estimate is fine as well? Okay. Okay, I do have a few more questions for you. First of all, do you have any history of Bell's palsy? Okay. How about stroke or trans ischemic attack? Any history of concussion or head injury? How about skin or scalp infections, seborrheic dermatitis, even psoriasis. Um, any recent illnesses or even acne breakouts? And are you experiencing any other areas of loss in sensation, numbness in your body? Last question. Any um, illicit drug usage or alcohol intake? Okay. All right. That concludes that portion. Just gives me an idea sometimes of where to start. a comprehensive exam to rule out whether or not this is an illness or a neurological issue. To start, I'm going to take a quick temperature, okay? So, it's not going to touch you, it's just going to hover over your forehead. Temperature is in normal range, 
really quickly, I just like to take a look at your eyes, okay? So I'm going to be using my pen light here and I am going to be needing to shine it into your eyes try to keep this part brief so just look right ahead in my nose it's okay to blink but try to keep your eyes open as much as you can All right. And just keeping your head square, just like that, no moving your head. I just want you to follow the light with your eyes. something called an extinction test, okay? So, generally this is done using your shoulders and your arms. I'm going to be doing this with your face as well. So, you're going to feel me either pressing, or in the case of your shoulders, squeezing lightly, and I will be releasing one of my hands, and I want you to tell me which side you feel me remove, okay? I will need you to close your eyes for this exam as well as I will be needing to make physical contact. So, is it okay with you if I touch you? Okay. Do you feel comfortable with closing your eyes? Okay. So, go ahead and close your eyes. And you're gonna feel my hands on either side of your face.
shoulder. a look inside of your mouth at the gums inside as well as at your throat just because just because there are some viruses that present in our mucosa which can trigger changes in sensation so I just want to rule everything out, okay? So can I have you open for me? Thank you. Okay. So just throw it in just... Taking a look. Can I get you to touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth? Okay. You can relax. So I'm not seeing anything there. A look at the skin inside of your ears. So, taking a look here now. Take a look at the skin on the outside of the ear. You able to feel that? Okay. 
than this here. Look at the other side. So. And you'll feel my scope in your ear. This is what we did on the other side. really quickly is just take a peek inside of your nose. So, just gently. Okay. Okay. So, not seeing any Changes in the skin in your ear. The mucosa inside of your nose looks good. 
and you were able to identify all of the areas on your ears that I made contact with. So. out in bulk right there. sensation, whether it be pain, dullness, achiness, or you're not able to feel where I am touching, I want you to let me know, okay? Don't be shy. So, let's start.
it's okay, it might be a little ticklish. Do you feel evidence of an occipital node as well as there is a small submandibular on the side? So Generally, the presence of an occipital node would indicate a skin or a scalp issue. But because it is accompanied by a submandibular, I'm going to do some more in-depth in testing here. So, first thing I'd like to do is take a look at your skin if that's okay. I do see that you are wearing a little bit of makeup. Is it okay if I remove that so I can see what's going on? Thank you.
where to start. I'm just gonna see what I'm able to see just using my light, okay? Close your eyes for me for a moment. scalp, okay? Just using my comb here. I'm just going to make a little part in the hair so I can see.
Thicker than a little bit of some dried skin and some dandruff. I'm not able to see anything abnormal on your scalp or skin exam. dismiss that there's any sort of processes that I'm not able to see, but on my visual exam, I'm not able to find anything infectious in nature, so... I'm going to be doing some sensation testing with you and we're going to be exploring a few different types so we're going to be looking at soft, dull, sharp and then also I will be using a brush as well okay, okay. so grab one of these starting with this one to get it over with, so to speak. It's not painful. As you can see, I am running it on my finger. It does feel a little bit irritating. So, I'm going to show you by running it on your hairline, okay? Just like... So. Okay. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to tell me where on your face and on your scalp you feel the in terms of your scalp, we will do it in quadrants. So we have your left side, your right, and this is going to be front left, front right. We also have rear left, and rear right. Close your eyes for me, okay? Thank you. So, to start. Good.
You can open your eyes and relax for a moment. Sorry for the squeak. All of these wheels have a squeak and it's pretty much impossible to prevent, regardless of the amount of WD-40 I have tried. But it is an important enough diagnostic tool that we need to use it tipped applicator. So on one side we have the cotton bud. On the other side we have the stick. So we will consider the cotton bud to be soft or dull and the ship the stick to be kind of sharp. Not painful but a different way of identifying a sharp sensation. So, to start, you can keep your eyes open. This side is dull. This side is what the sharp sensation feels like. Okay? So then I also have little brush here and this feels like that okay so sometimes it's also shedding its little hairs I'm gonna have you close your eyes again alright I want you to tell me where you feel 
the sensation and which type you feel as best as you can identify. So, close your eyes, okay?
did get the majority of those correct. There were a couple with the brush that we did miss, but that's... Okay. Feel some light taps, okay?
working on physical exam other than the evidence of the occipital lymph node as well as the submandibular there were the two instances where you did not identify the contact with the brush on your skin so what I'd like to do because I'm not able to come up with an explanation on exam I'm going to have you go to our lab to get some blood drawn, okay? I'm also going to be writing up a requisition for you to have an MRI done. You will need to schedule that with radiology to come in as a separate appointment, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. But they're usually able to book people in pretty quickly. It's just that we don't, I don't know what their schedule is today, so there is the potential chance that they'll be able to get you in today, and if not, it'll be this week. And then after you have that done, generally within 24 to 48 hours, I will receive a report from the radiologist of their interpretations. They'll send me the film so I can read them and interpret them myself and then I will get in contact with you, okay? Yeah. And then based on what I find, I'll either have you come back in, I may refer you to a specialist or it may be that we're not able to find anything in which case we will figure out how to do more testing or it just may be one of those strange things where we have some symptoms for a while that just resolve on their own. But first, let's get some labs. assistance to fill out requisitions both for the lab as well as for radiology and they'll get you all set up with that, okay? And in the meantime, if you experience any sort of changes in your symptoms, I want you to give me a call right away and let me know. And we will evaluate whether or not you need to come back in for further examination, if you need to see a specialist, or if we need to get further imaging or labs. We will come up with a plan together, okay? Do you have any questions for me? If that changes, feel free to give me a call, okay? Either way, 
We will get this sorted and figured out for you. I promise. I know it's scary and can definitely trigger anxiety. It's very difficult living in the unknown. I totally understand. But we are all here to help you and be with you every step of the way. And we will get this solved and sorted. Okay? Seriously, give me a call if you have any concerns. Excuse me. Any concerns, any questions, anything, okay? 